Hikers aren't supposed to tiptoe onto that log that stretches across Hanging Lake. It's a protected area by the Forest Service because of the fragile ecosystem there. That rule has unfortunately been broken before, but this week it triggered a federal investigation after this guy decided to do the same. As Nine Wants to Know has learned, David Lesh has a pattern of violating rules on public lands designed to protect the environment. Our Jeremy Hohola shows us how Lesh's behavior, which frequently goes viral, continues despite numerous run-ins with police. Stepping out in the middle of protected hanging lake, riding a snowmobile in closed public lands, arrested for arson in Boulder, all captured on Instagram photos, and David Lesh seems to love the attention and revels in the hate. All right, you guys, I think we need to start a movement to clean up the trash out of Hanging Lake. I hear there's a, a dead, rotting log that's polluting the lake. More than 13,000 people have signed a petition calling on the state to revoke his business license after his Hanging Lake photo went viral. Rules strictly prohibit human contact with the lake because oils and skin cells from the human body can disrupt its sensitive chemistry. Lesh owns Vertica Clothing, which is also sharing his antics on its page. It's when that happens over and over again, and we start to see the cumulative effect of those actions on the ecosystem and on the environment. The nonprofit environment group, Leave No Trace, says such behavior can compel other people to violate the rules in sensitive areas like Hanging Lake. There's a concern that that might be replicated over time. Somebody sees somebody on the log at Hanging Lake, hey, that's a great shot. I want to go get that same shot. So we, we can see some of that copycat behavior, uh, which is certainly, uh, it's, a, it's a newer issue that we have, certainly have with the social media era that we're living in. A background check shows Lesh has had numerous run-ins with police and Oregon and in Colorado for crimes like eluding police and destruction of property. He's avoided felony convictions after plea agreements in at least two cases. We've confirmed the feds are investigating Lesh for the Hanging Lake incident and another incident in April after he rode his snowmobile in closed lands. On Tuesday morning, he just agreed to pay a $500 federal fine and do 50 hours of public service for another snowmobile incident near Independence Pass last year. Lesh declined an on-camera interview and would only give a vulgar quote, calling the backlash Karen's. His future may include more charges again. Jeremy Hohola, 9 News. The governor's office declined to weigh in on the petition. It's unclear at this point if the state even has legal grounds to revoke a license based on Lesh's behavior.